Hello everyone, I am Subjit Thaw, welcoming you to another episode of Mojo for Industry Development Debate on Lasers in Manufacturing 2023. This session is sponsored by Laser Technologies Private Limited and knowledge partner of this session is Laser Cutting Systems India Private Limited. Laser technologies have become an integral part of modern manufacturing process due to their precision, speed and versatility. Additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, then laser sintering and melting, laser cutting and drilling, laser marking and engraving are some of the major areas of growth in laser technologies for manufacturing. In this 2023, we can expect to see even greater adoption and advancement of laser technologies in manufacturing. In this episode of Bojo for Industry Development Debate on Lasers in Manufacturing 2023, sponsored by Laser Technologies Private Limited and Knowledge Partner Laser Cutting Systems India Private Limited, experts will discuss about how the laser cutting will transform the manufacturing sector in 2023. Let me introduce you with our panelists uh, for the day. We are pleased to join by Mr. Duresh Shami Ravichandran. He is the Senior Manager, Product Management at Laser Cutting Systems India. And then we have Mr. Rakesh Agarwal, who is the Managing Director of Laser Technologies Private Limited. So now to take the session forward, I will invite Mr. Dulesh Ravi Ravichandran. So Mr. Ravichandran is a Senior Manager, Product Management, Laser Cutting Systems India. So today he will discuss the benefits of laser technologies in industrial manufacturing. He will also make a presentation on some of the most advanced laser cutting solutions offered by his company, Laser Cutting Systems. Over to Mr. Ravichandran. So, lasers uh, is playing a major role. It was not so maybe three decades back, but now it's playing a major role in the uh, plate cutting industry. And we just, I, I'll just take you across like how laser has evolved and uh, what the future will be in laser cutting. What is the benefits of laser? It's a very clean process. Uh, main thing is uh, after cutting by laser, you don't have to have a second uh, operation or uh, sometimes it is very little or sometimes it is no secondary operation operation for cleaning the surface so you can just use the surface as it is so when you are cutting thin material you take it to the next process just like that unlike the conventional process like shearing punching nippling where you have like uh, enormous manpower involved so this uh, laser uh, gives you very clean atmosphere clean product finish and another thing is it's a it saves the cost of cutting so today's uh, laser market it has been uh, nearly uh, stagnant till uh, say i would say till 2005 to 2010 then it started picking up and in india if you really if you talk about indian scenario the laser industry has really started picking up from 2016 or 17 and it was slowly picking up, but from 2018, there was no looking back by the uh, uh, laser technology uh, being used in uh, uh, cutting industry. So right now, it's like uh, split into two types of uh, segments. The low power segment, which is uh, driven by very low equipment costs, that is up to which where people use up to three kilowatt, and the high power segment, which where they go up to even 40 kilowatt is the same, but generally is up to 12 or 20 kilowatt, where uh, slowly the cutting is uh, replacing plasma cutting by way of like uh, cost saving and finish, all those things. And economically viable, this laser cutting is proving to be a very economically viable solution. So usage, like any industry you can take yellow goods, panel manufacturers, uh, equipment e equipment cladding manufacturers, or uh, you can take farm equipments or uh, medical equipments. Anywhere you have components which are now cut by laser. And in fact, we don't have to name it. We just can say 
any industry has got an application from laser. That's how I can term it. And latest trends, improved capabilities, the same thing in other way, I would say, improved capabilities like um, high power using AF to cut earlier. AF was uh, not a preferred uh, solution. People used to have only nitric, which is a bit costlier. But now people have started using air or nitrogen enriched air. So like technology is improving in a very fast way. And then added automation like your uh, like the material handling or sometimes we call it smart train. Trains which act in a very smart way. That's what it calls smart trains. Like it can take and sort material. After cutting it can sort material. Wherein the labor is reduced. So all these things can be utilized. So these are the latest trends in the laser cutting industry. That is, so this is the laser machines in our staple. The fiber blade six, which can go up to 20 kilowatt. Fiber blade five, which can go up to eight kilowatt. Fiber blade, fiber light, which have got all the three versions. You can have a open machine. You can have a open machine with a shuttle and an enclosed machine, which can be used up to three kilowatt. And the gantry machines also, like, you have the standard gantries for plasma and uh, in that we can have laser cutting and then we have the high speed element L also. Thank you so much uh, Mr. Ramachandran for uh, ex explaining the benefits of uh, laser technologies in industrial uh, manufacturing very specifically including uh, making a very informative presentation on some of the most advanced laser cutting solutions and technology. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is Mr. Rakesh Agarwal. Rakesh Agarwal is the Managing Director at uh, Laser Technologies Private Limited. Mr. Rakesh will talk on how cutting-edge laser technologies can empower MSMEs. He will also make a presentation on few innovative yet affordable laser solutions. Welcome Mr. Uh, Rakesh Agarwal. So, laser scene manufacturing. Uh, number one, what are the benefits if you have laser in your facility? So, number one is like... Uh, uh, you get very low wastage because uh, you can uh, do much better nesting. Okay, or after nesting, acha hota hai, or laser ka jo beam daya hai, that is also about 0.3 mm, whereas in plasma it was 3 mm. So, you save a lot of cost on material also. Then, uh, laser has got very high speed nowadays. Uh, the speeds are reaching 350 meter ka rapid up, uh, the 6G acceleration, and uh, it, it's really wonderful now how the People are uh, making it a uh, race car kind of thing. So, lasers ke se apne ko production kafi fast milta hai compared to conventional uh, water jet or plasma. Then, uh, costs are reduced due to fiber laser. The electricity cost, the gas cost, everything has been reduced. The capex, opex, everything has been reduced because of the introduction of fiber laser. And then we get very good uh, cutting quality also. Because you cut high speed, cut karte hai, to lower thickness mein jo material usko time nahi milta, ke liye ki usko kiya ja So before that it's cut. So you get very good uh, cutting quality also with laser with higher speed. So these are some of the benefits that uh, a MSME ko milta hai agar aap laser machine ke liye jate hai. So it can help uh, for new product development because you don't need any die or tool. So even if you want to make five parts, you have to just, just program it. You have to just program the laser and it will cut. So there is fiber laser cutting, which is most popular these days. Everyone know about that. Then we have got laser welding. Then we have got additive manufacturing with lasers. Then non-metal cutting. Then we have uh, laser corrosion removal. We call it laser cleaning also. It's, it's getting very popular nowadays. Then there is UV laser marking. Then we have laser surface treatment like laser cladding or laser brazing and uh, laser marking. So, these are some of the popular applications which uh, is very very useful for Indian MSME. If you are in metal fabrication or in you know, non-metal processing, you are doing textile ka business, kar rahe hai, leather, hai, paper, hai, acrylic, ka hai, signage. Hai. So, you can have any of the solution in-house uh, for your productivity and for your uh, quality requirements. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rakesh Agrawal, for sharing in-depth information on why it is essential for MSMEs to adopt laser technologies. Industry 4.0 or a smart factory is the talk of the town today. And by now, we know that laser technology is a key enabler of Industry 4.0. Contributing to higher productivity, lower cost, and improved quality in manufacturing and production processes. 
So uh, now in this particular panel discussion with Mr. Ravi Chandran and Mr. Ragus, uh, Rakesh Agarwal, uh, we'll try to understand that how laser can play a critical role in, uh, you know, in the C4.0 uh, <coughs> implementation. So Mr. Ravi Chandran, can you uh, share your points? Then we'll come back for Mr. Agarwal, I think, here at presentation as well. Industrial uh, 4.0 nowadays, uh, machines are equipped with the uh, plan, the end-to-end -end activities and also monitor how these uh, processes are being done. So, give you a more insight, like, uh, not like earlier where you have to schedule your jobs. I, first is on the cutting process, on the on your process. So, you have to have a, a manual intervention on how, to, how the cutting is happening and your scheduling was manual. But now, everything is uh, uh, can be done automatically uh, through software and the feedback from the machines can also be got on what process has, what <laughs> component has been cut and the inventory of the uh, parts can also be automatically done. This is one part of uh, 4.0 and the other thing is with the adequate sensors uh, and with the uh, data is being fed by the manufacturers, the machine's operation can also be uh, monitored and uh, the maintenance and uh, every other things can be scheduled automatically. Mr. Agarwal, would you like to make uh, your points? And I think you have a small uh, presentation also, if you can just share that. If you integrate it with the laser and automation, you can enhance your productivity, which uh, Mr. Ravi Chandran has already explained. You can reduce the dependability. You can uh, have a smart factory and uh, you can have it autonomous. So what, what does it all mean? At the end, actually, if you think, if you see, uh, our purpose of industry 4.0 is to enhance the efficiency. Okay. So that is the whole purpose. By connecting machine to the internet, like internet of things, or by analyzing, you know, the machine performance, we can see like uh, machine, uh, kitna time tak machine kaam kar rahi thi, kitna time tak mein operator ne kya kaam kiya. And we can increase the efficiency by looking at those reports. Okay. We can analyze everything about machine performance. We can also uh, operate it if we want through remote channels, we can also uh, uh, maybe repair the machines, you know, get, by getting, by taking it online, if it's connected, if it's like uh, industry 4.0 ready. So we were uh, talking about a concept recently in one of our uh, uh, laser group that in, in the in the coming maybe year, year or two, machine will talk to itself, that today my machine is here in India, mein hai, and if there is like say suddenly Delhi mein machine chal raha and the temperature is just 5 degrees. So that time laser will behave different when it was operating at 45 degrees. So now what laser will do? It will talk to other lasers because all the data is on cloud. Ki bhi Russia mein ek laser hai jo 5 degree pe ye particular parameters pe kaam kar rahi hai. So machine will automatically get those, that, that data from that machine that on 5 degrees what kinds of parameters should be you know uh, changed. So machine will automatically talk to other machine and it will fit its, its parameters and it will suggest it to operator ki you can use these parameters because XYZ machine is using these parameters in this particular condition. So number one is that, number one is that. Another thing is like we can also have a kind of a club wherein lasers can repair itself. So if there are any parameter setting, if there, if you need to change an, any parameter, if there is an error, machine will see, okay, this is like error number 22. And for error number 22, these are the self uh, uh, repairing methods. So these kind of things, which we are uh, anticipating in future, it can come. And uh, AI will definitely going to help uh, us in all that. So it's well summed up actually for, from both Mr. Ravi Chandran and Mr. Rakesh Agarwal. So uh, thank you again, Mr. Rakesh Agarwal and Mr. Duresh Sami Ravi Chandran for answering those questions as well as taking my questions. Uh, it was my pleasure having you here today. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Mojo for Industry Development Debate on Lasers in Manufacturing 2023, sponsored by Laser Technologies Private Limited and Knowledge Partner, Major Cutting Systems India Private Limited. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.